Good morning, YouTube. Did you know that some vaccines are made from plants? It's true. Instead of using eggs or animal cells to produce vaccines, scientists are using plants like tobacco, potatoes, and tomatoes to create plant-based vaccines. These types of vaccines offer a more sustainable and cost-effective solution to traditional vaccine production methods. Plus, they could potentially be used to combat diseases that are difficult to produce vaccines for using traditional methods. Plant-based vaccines are an exciting development in the world of medicine and could have a huge impact on global health. Plant Molecular Farming Plant-based vaccines are developed using a technique known as plant molecular farming. This process involves introducing a specific gene into a plant's DNA so that the plant can produce a protein that is part of a pathogen or disease-causing agent. Once the plant has produced this protein, it can be harvested and purified to create a vaccine. The process of developing plant-based vaccines typically involves the following steps. Identification of a suitable protein. Researchers identify a protein that is produced by a pathogen and is essential for causing disease. This protein is selected as the target for the vaccine. Genetic engineering of the plant. The gene for the selected protein is inserted into the DNA of a plant, such as tobacco or potato. The plant is then grown under controlled conditions to allow it to produce the protein. Protein extraction and purification. Once the plant has produced the protein, it is extracted and purified to create the vaccine. This process may involve several steps to ensure that the vaccine is free from contaminants and is safe for use in humans or animals. Clinical trials. The vaccine is tested in clinical trials to evaluate its safety and effectiveness. If the vaccine is found to be safe and effective, it may be approved for use by regulatory agencies. Key Considerations Plant-based vaccines have several advantages over traditional vaccines. They are relatively easy to produce, can be grown quickly, and do not require the use of animals or animal products in their production. Additionally, plant-based vaccines can be stored at room temperature, making them easier to distribute and use in remote or low-resource areas. In conclusion, plant-derived vaccines offer a promising approach to developing safe and effective vaccines for various diseases. The use of plants as bioreactors for vaccine production has numerous advantages, including scalability, cost-effectiveness, and ease of production. Furthermore, plant-derived vaccines have shown promising results in preclinical and clinical trials, demonstrating their potential as a viable alternative to traditional vaccine production methods. As technology advances and research in this area continues, it is likely that we will see more plant-derived vaccines becoming available for use in the future. This represents a significant step forward in the development of vaccines, and offers hope for more effective and accessible healthcare for people around the world. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below to let us know what you thought of this video. Your feedback helps us improve and create better content for you in the future. Thanks again for your support.